you don't need to, you know you can come a little bit closer, you don't need to stand so far back. None of us up here bite, we've, we've been checked for health and safety. Um, my name is Steve McFall and I'm the uh, current chair of the Michael Causer Foundation. Uh, and it's my honour and indeed my privilege uh, to welcome you here to the vigil. Um, and we're just going to go straight in. I'm delighted we're here. But I don't want to steal anybody's thunder. So I'm just going to introduce you now to uh, a very good friend of mine uh, who happens to be the leader of Nosley Borough Council. Can I ask Graham to step forward, please? Thank you, Steve. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a real honour to stand before you today and to welcome Michael's parents, other family members, and his friends as well as our partner organisations and members of the public here to Corte Park for this very important event. This year's vigil is particularly special as it marks the 15th anniversary of Michael's death and it will be the first that's been held in Nosley. More than ever, it is important that we come together as a community and that we stand united against hate crime. Later this evening, landmarks across our borough, including the Greystone Bridge over the M62 and the Archway Railway Bridge, will be lit in rainbow colours. I would like to thank you all for your attendance to this special event, and I look forward to working with the Michael Corson Foundation in the future at Bond Nosley, and also thanking them for hosting the vigil. I will now hand over to Rachel Jones, the Chief Exec, and to Steve McFarland, the Chair of Trustees. Thank you very much. Thank you, Graham. So, well, just before Rachel and I uh, say a couple of things, we'll keep, we'll keep it brief, I promise you. We'll be talking all day. Uh, but again, it gives me an honest pleasure to uh, have another of our fantastic supporters here today, uh, who just so happens to also be a good friend and be the Police and Crime Commissioner for Merseyside. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our Commissioner, Emily Spurrow. I'm so proud to be able to join all with you today as we commemorate um, the life of Michael. Michael's was a life that was tragically cut short, far too short. But to see so many of you here today, as we've heard 15 years after his death, demonstrates the impact that he has had on so many people um, during his 18 years with us. Michael clearly made a huge difference to everyone who knew and loved him. And his life has also had a huge impact on the lives of hundreds of thousands more, more people than he possibly could ever have imagined. It's through the work of the Michael Causer Foundation and Liverpool Pride, Michael has made a difference to our city and to our entire region. Through LCR Pride, our communities come together in protest, unity and solidarity. And it was amazing to see on Saturday just the legacy that Michael has left by how many of us all came together on Saturday to mark LCR Pride. It's an opportunity for us to celebrate the best of our region, our inclusivity, our diversity, and the fact that Merseyside welcomes people from all walks of life. But it also provides us with that very important opportunity to speak out against prejudice, against discrimination, and social injustice. Events around the world show us that there is still a long way to go in the fight for true equality. And that is why it is so important that we unite in solidarity to make a stand against any form of abuse and bigotry. It reminds us of the need for visibility. Visibility of our emergency services, our support services and our communities to help people report hate crime and ensure that those who spread hate, that they face justice. Most side police take hate crime very seriously. They have dedicated hate crime officers who are specially trained to handle cases of hate with sensitivity and understanding. And I would urge anybody affected by this to contact Merseyside Police. You will be listened to, you will be understood, and you will be supported. Through my Victim Care Merseyside service, I also commission a number of specialist tailored support services to support victims of LGBT hate crime. This includes a confidential 24-7 hate crime reporting service completely separate to the phone delivered by the independent charity Stop Hate UK. Stop Hate UK also help people to access support, including from the LGBTQ Hate Crime Support Service delivered by Citizens Advice Liverpool. There is no place for hate in Liverpool or anywhere in Merseyside. It will not be tolerated, and the Chief Constable and I are determined to do everything that we can to stamp it out. 
Our city is welcoming, it is tolerant and it is inclusive. And we must all continue to work as hard as we can to ensure that this is the reality for each and every person living, working and visiting in our region. This is Michael's legacy and it must never be forgotten. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. Um, I'd like to get uh, the Chief Executive of One Nosley and another good friend. We are becoming friends with so, so many people across this borough, but also across Merseyside. It's fantastic to see. Um, I'm going to ask uh, Rachel to maybe say a, a couple of words uh, just in a moment. You've heard already some of the reasons why we're, we're here. And I think it's a testament to Michael's memory but also a testament to seeing so many of you here and some new faces here to say there is no room for a hate crime in any form. And yes, it is somewhat worrying to see some increases in the uh, reported hate crimes over the last uh, one and two years. But that means there's just more for us all to do. And if there's anything you can do that helps the Michael Causer Foundation and One Nosley on the next part of our journey, be it in educating uh, uh, people in employment or people in schools, be it making our voice heard about hate crime and why it is abhorrent, or ge more generally, helping young people find a safe space, such as the uh, holiday home that we have up near Morecambe. Those are the types of things that become very important to us. And I'm delighted to say some of that, or in fact all of it, will continue on more under the watchful eye of Nosley Borough Council um, through one Nosley. Rachel, would you like to say something else? Thanks, Dean. First of all, I'd like to say welcome. Welcome to our home. Welcome to the courtyard. Welcome to Corte Park and this beautiful community access that we, we now have um, open to our community. Today, we held a kindness event and it was packed. It was absolutely incredible to see so, members, so many members of our community, children, babies, and the number of kindness pledges that they made today. When we talk about not tolerating hate and no more hate, what we need to be talking about is amplification of kindness, amplification of acceptance in our communities, enabling people to be their authentic selves and we are passionate and committed to Michael's legacy and making that very very real within this borough. We've talked for several months now about Michael coming home. This evening Michael is home and I am really proud and able to dedicate this beautiful structure that I'm stood in front of to Michael to his legacy and to the future. I'd really like to, at this point, to invite Mike and Marie to come and join me. Mike and Marie are Michael's parents. So this beautiful pavilion which has been gifted to one nosley by the Swedish forest industry, is dedicated in the, Michael, in the memory of Michael. This is a community safe space, offering acceptance, hope and peace for all. Michael has come home. We'll just pause for a moment, just if there's anybody needing any photographs, particularly of our dear, dear friends here, Michael. Can you Marie, Michael Michael I think we come forward. Yeah. We'll get it. We're going to start. Thank you. As we've done at uh, all of the vigils since Michael's passing, uh, I'm hoping uh, we can have uh, a blessing whether you be of faith or no faith, uh, I'm delighted that we've got the canon Philip Anderson with us to say a few words, so thank you.
it's, uh, it's a huge honor for me to be here today. Uh, 15 years ago, I was a uh, new priest serving in Prescott in this borough of Knowsley. And uh, like so many people, I was shocked, appalled uh, by the news of what happened to Michael and uh, frightened, as many of us were. But from that tragedy began this story of hope and resilience. And uh, I, I'm here today representing Liverpool Cathedral, where I now serve. And the journey back to Knowsley of the Michael Causer Foundation is a source of real pride and hope, because he is coming home. But what uh, that good work will continue to make a difference throughout the Liverpool City region. So as we, as we remember and we stand up against hate, I'd just like to invite us to keep a moment of quiet as we remember Michael, as we remember the gift of his unique life and we give thanks for the courage and the resistance that his death inspired. And a blessing in the name of love. The love beyond our understanding. Give us strength to carry on and never to give up hope. Help us to support one another when we feel beaten by the hatred we still encounter. Renew our sense of the dignity we have and do not need to earn. As we honour Michael's memory, lift us out of the shadow of death and unite us so that we write the next chapter of our history in his memory, united and powerful, proud and blessed. Um. Thank you, Cameron. I'm just going to stand to the side now whilst uh, our fantastic choir get ready. If any of you have seen anything, be it the, the Olympics or some of the cricket um, that's been on of late, plus various other national and international uh, performances by this wonderful group. I'd ask you all to show your appreciation, when you show your appreciation at the end, if you wave, that's giving a form of applause with the Liverpool Signing Choir.
it's a tradition of ours with the choir. We ask people to come up and join us. All you have to do is follow me. Lots of our parents will come up. Be great if people came up and joined us, including our police officers who are here and our commissioner. That would just be amazing. Come on, please. Come on, come on. Just join in, follow us. Just follow us. Come on. And it's going to be this one. There's your listen. Right, just have a little foot, just follow me. And big smiles, very uplifting. I'm not a stranger to the dark. Hide away, they say, cause we don't want your broken parts. I've learned to be ashamed of all my scars. Run away, they say.
So I'm going to pass over to patron of the Michael Causer Foundation, happens to be my husband, but he's patron of the foundation and former chair of trustees, Mr. Gary Miller. Thank you, Steve McFarlane. You know, perhaps, uh, as I look around at this vigil, as I have done for many, many years, um, and I'll just say one thing. I didn't ask to speak today. I was asked by Rachel to speak. Thank you. It isn't in a contract anywhere, but it should be. And I say that for a reason. As I look around you today, and thank you all for coming in Michael's memory. 33 years old he would have been, and he's not with us. And as we look around, the only people I see is Michael's family. Because it's so hard for any parent to be constantly reminded of the passing of a loved one, of any loved one. But I wanted Mike and Marie to stand next to me today. They don't speak, they don't want to speak. And we have to respect that because this is hugely difficult for them. And therefore, let Graham Morgan, the leader of Nosley Council, speak. Emily Spurrell, the Police and Crime Commissioner. Rachel Jones, the Chief Executive of One Nosley. And my husband and partner of 42 years. I know I don't look old enough. <laughs> Steve McFarlane. Um, the things I've had to put up with with that man. But each of those, and I'm going to mention Graham in particular, and Rachel, have moved heaven and earth to support the Michael Gozzo Foundation, and Michael's name, and Marie, and Mike, and the Gozzo family. For Graham, it's so important. He actually delayed, this never happens, anywhere in the borough, has delayed the start of a major council meeting to be here today in Michael's memory. And that shows the respect that he has and his councillors and officers have for Michael, who has today come home to his borough. I would like to thank all of the former trustees, the founding trustees of the Michael Causer Foundation for starting this with Mike and Marie. I can see, now I'm not going to mention all names, but don't get upset with me, but I can see Paul the man in the distance there. You're being unusually shy there, Paul. Okay. And Kieran Bowen is there as well. But there are many, many others, and I can't see them at the moment, including myself and Stephen, who have done what we can to support Michael's name, Michael's memory, and his family. I'd like to thank the uh, Naughty Ash Signing Choir. You're just trying to call me here. And the Liverpool Signing Choir for coming along today. I'd like to thank Rachel, your team are outstanding. You are so lucky, and we are so lucky to have you do what you do in Michael's name. And if you're questioning why you have been given the daisy, Michael's favorite flower. So go away and plant as many days as you can. But it's a token. And I don't want tokens. I want action. I want the next chapter in Michael's history, as Philip mentioned before, Canon Philip Anderson mentioned before. The next chapter in Michael's history as he comes home 
is here in this courtyard and in every TV screen, radio broadcast, school, faith organization, community organization, where we all learn we could be better by listening more, by understanding those that you might think are different. They are not different. They are as different as you and I are. Each of us take the message of Michael forward as a Michael mate, Michael's mate, and remind people to love, to care, to have compassion, to look after one another. That's why we are here today, to remember Michael, remember his name, but take forward that anti-hate crime message to everyone that we can, because we can, each of us, make a difference and save a life, because that's what we should have been doing many years before. So any councillors here, any politicians here, any police and crime commissioners here, thank you for your support, because I know that you care, and I know that you want to help all of us do better. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you just to think for one second about Michael, but I would love you to give a huge round of applause, not for the foundation, not for the people that have spoken today, but those unheard voices, including the Causa family, by giving them the biggest round of applause that you can muster. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gary Miller, have a wonderful life, look after each other, hug each other. In fact, before you leave today, hug somebody next to you. Listen to them and make a difference in their lives. But before you do, a huge round of applause for the family in Michael's name, please. Well, we hope to see you all here again next year, and maybe all of us have made a little difference. Some of those little steps helping somebody else. Thanks very much. Be safe, be well. See you all soon.